Uh, I do not remember his uh, his Twitter offhand, so hopefully uh, I'll be forgiven for that. But yeah, um, so in uh, the previous case when uh, we were seeing Zayce versus Best Nest, yeah, that was uh, that was a hundred percent. Well, not a hundred percent, but like it, it was in it was in Ness's favor. This is uh, yeah, not exactly the same uh, same thing we got going on here. Definitely. Bayonetta kind of uh, messes him up, but you know. Spencer's a big kid. I, I think that he can do well. Provided well, he doesn't get gimped like right now. Okay, go. That's good. And the battlefield start is pretty interesting as well. Yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah. Like generally, you you see Bayonetta really likes these triplat stages, and so she'll you know sell her you know second child to get here if she has to. But, <laughs> uh. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what Spencer enjoys about it, aside from I don't know. It's a, it's not Lilat. <laughs> and I, I think if he also likes it because he's up B, he can hit the ledge. That a lot is easier. true. Uh, it it would probably provide for a more uh, more consistent recovery than he would normally get on a few other stages. Yeah. It's uh, and plus, like there's more room for him to ras. So if uh, Bale wants to go low, he'll have enough time theoretically to get a, get off a PK Thunder uh, yeah. to try to mess it up. Uh, speaking of getting messed up, all right. Takes him uh, right off the top. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, that was a little rough. You know, uh, you're just uh, winning the game, and then Bayo says, uh, "Wait, are you sure?" And yeah, then she's not. Oh, oh, it's gonna it to happen him. again. Oh no, no, no. He he, SDI down for his life there. That was cute though. Nice. And that's the thing. Like, if you SDI your stuff right, and Bayonetta isn't reacting to the uh, to the SDI. You can just kind of be like, hey, what's up? I have this uh, this up air. I like doing that as Corrin, uh, provided that I do get the SDI down. Uh, yeah. It's pretty good, because it'll kill her, like, a bit, like, I don't know, like, 90 or 100. Anyway, uh, but yeah. I'm also really... Oh, that that could have been real nasty for Best Ness. Yeah, oh, but... never mind, he uh, gets the... <laughs> Forgot that Bayonetta was packing heat, and so uh, took a few of those in the face. Oh, nice. That was a, that's a good conversion. Big fan of that. Oh. And for the risk. Well, you know, out. like, if he's chilling on stage, as long... I feel like Spencer's generally pretty okay, provided yeah. that uh, he's not, you know, getting taken off stage. And I think that... And this is kind of interesting. Uh-oh. Uh it's fun for the up smash. Yeah, so generally, I've, I've seen Spencer go for this uh, pretty often, but uh, generally what he does is he directs it like straight down mm. so that it uh, puts him where he can do like normal getup or one one way or the other. And so I don't know if that's what he was going for because generally, uh, you know, in a 33% chance, like I don't think Calculus would have committed to that, uh, committed to a, a smash attack like that. But because he kind of either messed up the angle, thought it was going to break his shield, I don't know. He, he was just going for it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Spencer's got the, uh, the color counter pick going. Uh, sometimes, if you can't get it done in the red hat, you just got to switch to purple. Which, you know, got to respect that. Because, like, not everybody can get it done in a red hat. Like, me personally, I look terrible in all hats, so I just can't, yeah. That's not my thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, shout out to Bayonetta making up all of that damage that uh, Spencer worked for like 30 seconds to get in like 5. But uh, yeah. you know, that's, among other things, that is uh, what you could call one of the Bayo specials. Making but one hit count that, as That's the thing, that's what I actually like watching about uh, Best Nest plays, he's really... He's really good about playing around these like really poor matchups because this is <laughs> uh uh up uh. almost oh that top, was but... uh oh that was cute that was real cute I I don't know like if uh, if Spencer was looking to like if he was positive that wasn't gonna land and oh that's the other dumb thing uh, about Bayonet every once in a while is like if you're trying to recover and you have a bad recovery. And Bayonetta's is like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna hit you with a couple bullets. You just kind of have to take it like a champ because you can't really do anything else. Oh, uh, because if you try to like di out or down or whatever, that's yeah, you just kind of get wrecked. All right, oh, that's too bad. He 
didn't uh, correctly predict which way Bayonetta was going, and now uh, it's uh, it's Calculus's combo. But thankfully, uh, Best Ness has been doing. Okay, this actually might just be where he kind of. Oh, never mind. And that's the other thing. He's been recovering low enough that Bayonetta has had to uh, expend the majority of her resources off stage, and so he gets a more or less free recovery, uh, which is quite smart. Uh, but the main reason that that's been working is because he's been mixing it up so often off the stage. He's been recovering uh, quickly, and so when uh, when Calculus tries to read that, he just kind of takes his time. So. And one like, thing, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, one thing I've noticed is like, when they were in doubles, yeah, I, uh, you know, they were fighting. Um, calculus would usually go off stage from there. Oh, okay. But I haven't seen her been doing this so far. That's rather interesting. Or I wonder him, why that is. Because yeah, I, I wouldn't think that that's terribly punishable uh, by any. Like, I don't think it would do anything bad to him. Well, like, yeah. Uh, and like, Nair would absolutely mess up Ness off stage. So. That is an interesting observation. I wonder why these, uh, he's not making use of that. Maybe he's holding it for a, for a prime moment. All right, now we're, uh, now we're down to Town and City. This is gonna be a good match because you can see the seagull on the far right. Uh, there, are a couple, there are a couple instances of uh, Town and City that you always know are gonna be better than the other ones. Uh, and that's when you see either the seagull or when you see the uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, see the camel. Uh, I don't remember what their names. I I personally haven't played any Animal Crossing, but both my there we go. There's, there's the nair. nair. There's the nair. Yeah. Oh, that was oh. Un that was so close to being a cool thing, which is honestly like if I ever need a like title for my biography, uh, uh, that might just be it. Oh, get him! Get him! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Quick, let's mash up B out of anything, and we'll probably be fine. And now Best Ness has to work for yeah two stocks, and uh, almost taking it off. The yeah, top. that that Nair is doing bunches of work. This actually might just be done. Yeah. Yeah. He. <gasps> that was a godlike tech. That was. Uh, so like. Uh, Fusion, whatever actually happens in the set, you have to give uh, give an extra set count to Spencer for that tech. That was really nice. <laughs> uh, it, like, that's that's just bonkers. People, real people, don't do that. And there, there's the other thing. Like, he he had to hold in, or else he would go off stage, and ERD didn't have his jump, so he's just kind of he'd be in trouble and have to like actually recover. And, so oh. yeah, just took just cut, took a couple bullets like a champ to you know. Dude, what a busted character! Ness is so good. He's like if Mario had a good kill throw. Wait, he does. Like a better kill throw. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. All right, let's see if Spencer can get anything off this combo. Bayo says, uh, "Too bad that was my combo." So sorry for the misunderstanding. And then Rage also. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, if Spencer can get, like, a filthy jab lock here, then uh, he might be okay. Uh, yeah. But the main problem is, uh, I don't think Bayo generally is, gets into situations where she needs to jab lock. Or, need, like, will get jab locked. Because she's generally able to, like, do her up B on her, like, and get out of combos and whatever on her own terms. And so she, she's generally, like, I don't see her get jab blocked terribly often. Sometimes by Pikachus, because that, uh, uh, some of their attack trajectories really just put them on the ground. But, yeah. Generally, Bayo can throw out some type of move to make it so that she doesn't have to tech at all. Bring and it back to town and city. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I don't blame him. He just kind of, uh, Spencer just kind of got cheesed. Uh, which, like, let's be real. Like, everyone cheeses everyone, but, like, that some people are better at it than others, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But, and this is this is the really brave thing I'm seeing out of Spencer is that like he's still he's still going for the uh, going for the purple ness, and I I respect that highly because like actually, what other good skins are there for ness? Oh, oh, and then you think he's gonna mash up B out of the combo, but actually he can also just mash whipped which time and be fine too, so that's pretty yeah. cool. 
Uh, he's got that going for him. I know the most popular in that skin is probably the light blue. Light, oh, the light blue with like the whatever his name is on the yeah he's Dunzo. Yeah. Uh, the like blob thing. I haven't played any of the uh, Earthbounds or Mother series, but it, that one's pretty good. I like since like N64 though. Like I've been a I've been a you know little b boy every time. It's just it's just too tantalizing. I can't can't do anything else. It's a classic. Yeah. And that's the other thing, like, Calculus has actually been extremely good about uh, making use of, oh shoot, where was my train of thought? I, what is he even making use of? Oh, the the extended uh, the extended hits you can get with her, uh, with Bayo's uh, neutral air and her up air. And so one of Ness's, like, super good things is his air dodge, right? Uh, his air dodge is super nice. Uh, but... Oh, he might just be Dunsky's here. No. Alright, that, that was good. Uh, and so, but if you can just hold your moves, you kind of negate one of the, like, really good things about Ness. You... Alright, let's see if uh, Spencer can pull this out. And, Whoa. like, I'd, I'd say that's still pretty ill-advised. Uh, like, there's... No... Yeet? Alright, let's see. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, so one thing with Bayonetta, uh, I think... With back air and her up air, or forward air and up air, they essentially frame trap themselves. Ooh, that could have been uh, interesting. Also, that was actually one of the ballsiest up airs that I've seen out of a nest. I did not think he was going to grab that. Oh, yeah, down in the wire. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get a, a champion's back air, or back air, uh, back, back throw. Back. Yeah, and that's the thing. That was cute. That was good. Just a nice back air. We'll finish it off. Yep. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's doing all right for himself. The uh, the purple hat and checkered shirt worked out for him in the end, and you know, like I, I don't know if that would be uh, an advisable, you know, outfit for most people. But Ness pulls it off. Oh, he's changing colors. Yeah, he's going back to the ooh ooh the purple uh, purple. I can't even the blue. I don't even know what colors are. The blue. The uh, have you have you played any of the Earthbound or Mother series? I played. So do you know like what the name of that like little little guy there? I know it's one of the enemies that you fight. I think. I, I forgot his name. That is okay. I yeah. I, so did I. That boss like I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And oh for real? I mentioned it to one of my friends and they're like, oh yeah, you just use a honey on him and then you you <laughs> duh you just win. You like if just you use give the honey, honey, you idiot. Oh well, yeah, if you <laughs> use the so honey, funny. it. It's like he doesn't even attack. Interesting. You just and there you go. There's the like what's oh that was a really good uh, phantom footstool that Spencer got. That was way good. The one thing I've noticed with Calculus is he he's been trying to get best Ness off stage. Like well yeah I, I you know I I can see why that he might think that's a winning strategy because it uh, definitely is. Yeah. That, that's basically how he's uh, he's been getting most of his wins right now. Is he's just kind of been. And you're, yep, he has to hold in again. Oh, that would have been uh, unfortunate. Well, yeah. if, uh, if Spencer didn't tech that, he probably would have died uh, if it, had he gotten hit by it. All right, yeah, so uh, Battlefield is uh, a good stage for Bayonetta, uh, in case anybody was curious about that. Yeah. Uh, or if it wasn't uh, readily apparent by the stock and percent count right now. But I think he banned Lila. I think Lila's probably... Better. Yeah, I I could see I could see how uh, Best Nest would not really want to go there, uh, but you know, well, after after a little uh, little cute combo and up air to a back air, he's uh you know, uh oh, oh this could be it. No, no he ah oh, he expended everything. He thought he was being cute, and then uh, turns out he wasn't. Yeah, I noticed he did that a couple times in uh, doubles, so I assume he's. That's why he's not going like off stage as much. Like, yeah, that's possible. When he, he usually just tries to edge guard with bullets. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Uh, Best Ness's uh, recovery game is nuts. So I I do not fault him one bit for not wanting to go out there. And see, there he did that. I think that's probably what he's going for in the the first game. Yeah, I can see that. And there you go. He's he's back in the lead. All it took was uh, his opponent SDing. Uh, 
That was a clever And that is unfortunate, because uh, he probably would have been fine had he not tried to uh, do much off of that. Because I think, I think sometimes, especially out of moves like that, where Bayonetta can just get a, get a free witch time, you, you might just content yourself with taking the damage and then uh, hoping you can get something. It, just like resetting. Like you won the exchange. Yeah, Bayonetta destroy you is relatively in the neutral. All right, let's see. That could have been... Oh, that oh. was unfortunate. No, that was so good. Dude, I don't think he would have won that without the blue outfit. Like, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. And look at how good that match.